Yeah. Kind of like talk about your story and what got you into just fitness in general and where it's gotten you so far. Um, yeah. So I work with your mom. Um, so she was sharing, you know, videos that you were posting of people's transformations. Um, I was kind of in like a funk where I would go outside, I would walk up a hill lose my breath and I was like I gotta do something um and so that's when I um sent you the message to see you know when I could come in and start working out and another thing was we had been trying to get pregnant I guess for about three years and they said you know if you start working out changing your way of eating and all that that should help too so um, started with you, um, dropped a lot of weight actually, and lost a lot of inches. I think before I found out I was pregnant, I lost what, like 14 inches around my leg or something. Yeah. So I was super excited, felt good. Um, then we started that challenge and that's when I found out I was pregnant. I could not figure out why I was like, gauge, my hair's falling out. Like Like, what's going on? All that stuff. Yeah. So that was hard, but so I wanted to stay healthy. I had already been working out for months. And so it was hard in my first trimester. It was very hard to get yeah. up. You don't have any energy, but thankfully for you and Devin, y'all pushed well, me the, through. The main thing was I kept saying, Hey, your baby's going to be so athletic. Yeah. So keep working out. But that, that's, that's an actual thing though. Like it's a proven fact that if yeah. you're working out during your pregnancy, you're it, you're gonna have a better pregnancy. You're gonna be more, your baby's gonna have to be stronger and all this stuff. And you said today that you you obviously worked out throughout your entire pregnancy. But mm-hmm. so what was it like after having your baby throughout that period where you couldn't work out? And how healthy was your baby? And what was the process like for the pregnancy? Um. So I didn't gain, I stayed in my weight limit that they want you to stay in. Um, I only gained 26 pounds my whole pregnancy. Um, So that was good. So working out and staying active definitely helped. Um, I ended up going a week and a half over my due date. So that was rough. And kind of find out like I couldn't get him out. He was stuck. So I ended up having to go have a C-section. That was really hard, um, but I think working out definitely helped my recovery process because the first few days were rough, yes, but by the time I got home, I was ready to, you know, get up, get moving, yeah, um, and all that, so that definitely helped a lot by staying active, so. And you said that your your son, he's progressing faster than he should be, is that right? Yeah, he, well um he's very healthy of course he's a little chunker but he is very good at already like holding his head up very well and everything that he should be doing by the time like that he's his age right now so and how did you I know you were talking about this earlier with me but the time period of like how did you feel when the pregnancy was over and you were just like chilling at home because you had to oh it's horrible yeah 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 Horrible. So you don't realize, like, after you get in this routine, you know, changing the way you eat, staying active, like, constantly moving, and then you go to just having a baby, you're having to recover, you're having to just lay around, you know, which I understand you have to heal. Yeah. But it really starts taking, like, a toll on your mental, like, status. Like, you start just getting in this funk, you don't feel good. You know, you just don't want to go do anything. And that's when I was like, I got to get back. Like now that I got cleared, I was ready, you know, just to get back in because it really does take a toll on a lot of things. So, 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 and so right now you're looking for, you're trying to get back into that mental health state mm -hmm. point, work on your sleep patterns, work on feeling better, and then go back to shaping your body the way you want to. Is that right? Yes. Okay. It's definitely having a C-section makes your body just, ugh. We got, we got to get, we got to get tight again. Yeah. That's what we got to do. All right, Lauren, I appreciate the call. Um, I'm sure that you're going to, this message is going to reach a lot of women out there. And Yeah, and I can talk to whoever needs Perfect. help with anything with that.
So it's always great to work out when you're frigging. Yes, it definitely makes a total difference. So well, everyone, we appreciate it and I will see you at the gym. Yes, thank you. Everyone, thank you. Bye.